ขุบอร์นักสแลมจงอดดอกซันฮีมาร์กมอไลท์ทาวน์ดอร์บาร์กะเซ็งซัมลามอไลท์ปลุนฮะริงกัดบัดกะสแปกกันกิวอินเนอ
Okay, what is uh, the uh, the benefit of the government and the community if you do this uh, project okay. here in Sri Lanka? Okay, so the, the as I as I said that because we the the best benefit what community is going to get is the waste management it's because as I said, two hundred fifty ton waste of the municipal waste will be processed. So the first benefit is to uh, remove the uh, to to process the uh, waste. Second benefit which uh, government will get is uh, the direct and indirect employment to the local. Third uh, important benefit which will have there is that once the methanol is produced and it is sold in the market, state government will get the GST. So which is a big uh, advantage in terms of uh, getting the revenue for the state. Okay, you uh, you mentioned about the employ employment. employment. Yes. Also, can you tell what kind of uh, employment the local people okay. do? Okay. okay, so as as this plant is a is a, like a, is a refinery plant where we convert the waste into uh, syn gas and then it converts into uh, methanol. So of course the as far as uh, at the construction stage is concerned, uh, as you know, we will be looking for the construction people like who can help us, contractors who can do and. We always welcome the local contractors and employers, uh, who can uh, workers who can contribute to the construction of the plant. And once the plant gets started up, of course, uh, the skilled labor is required to operate the plant and do the maintenance. Uh, in the initial stage, which I am thinking at now is about two years, we will have some uh, experts coming from outside the state, uh, and 80 percent or maybe. Uh, so to start with 60% probably and start with that will be local employees, of course the technical boys and girls. And slowly once they get trained, and they can become a future full-time employees of the company. Uh, apart from that, we have a plan to, to give internship so that the students who are doing technical uh, education here, they can come for the internship, they can learn how the process the uh, plant and operate and maintenance, of course, because the plant is going to be a sophisticated plant, one of the one, one of the latest technology. So we have to train them to how to operate and maintain them. So we will have a, a dedicated operation team and dedicated maintenance team because this plant operates 24/7. It cannot stop. It has to work on all three shifts. So um, this is the reason we are presently. Once we do, we will have skill labor and we will develop the skill uh, of the local community and local students and employees and then they will be employed and of course there will be indirect employment as you know indirect employment is the transportation the logistic the uh, you know accommodation so many accessories and you know state government can uh, get benefit and the community get, get benefit out of it it's basically uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a type of alcohol but it's a flammable alcohol it is the purest form of alcohol. Uh, so this is methanol, which is basically CH3OH. Is the chemical chemistry name is. It's a methane and hydroxide uh, combination. So that's why it is called methanol. Now methanol is used usually. Pure methanol is used basically for the uh, high-end uh, cars and bike. Uh, for 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 the diesel engines which are in in, in they can be uh, this methanol can be mixed up to 15 percent. To the existing diesel engines, so this will help uh, in reducing the uh, import of diesel or import of crude to the country. Uh, so that's the advantage. Number two, there are uh, even even it can be used can be mixed with the marine oils, marine fuel oils. You see the barges, ship, ship, big ships which is coming. So that can be mixed with that. And uh, uh, methanol, which produces this methanol, is has got a lot of application in the industries like uh, raising. Uh, you know, uh, in the presentation which I will send you, you will see more than 158 applications are there. It is a raw material for many, many products uh, in a polyester, in polyester, petrochemicals, and resin, and many other. This is one of the major components, even your uh, cleaner in many things, you know. So uh, it is there, there is a list. It's, a, it's a raw material for many.